Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Coach Swift here at Make Money Coaching Sports. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, when you get on your sales calls, you need have you need to have a structured system in place. Okay, and what I mean by that is you have all these questions you normally want to ask somebody about what they need help with, how you help, and everything like that. But if you don't have a kind of flow on those questions and you don't have the exact questions every single time, then you could one, be losing valuable information. You could also be uh, fumbling around to have a conversation with parents. Parents want somebody who can have a direct conversation with them and they can also tell who is very confident in their program uh, based on those conversations, okay? When I get on phone calls, I know uh, first I always make sure I uh, get the name of the parent and the kid, uh, the exact sports and positions. Uh, I always ask uh, what school and what club they play for. Uh, are they 13U, 14U, 15U? And then, um, you know, we kind of go from there on what do they need help the most with? I'm a sports performance coach, so it's like, do they need to get stronger uh, to satisfy coaches at school, or is it more they need to get stronger, add some muscle to aid uh, direction change, to aid uh, sprint uh, quality, to aid vertical uh, improvement, okay? So you have to get all these uh, in place. And it sounds like you're asking a lot of questions, and then when you get the parent to talk, they uh, they will open up a lot about why they think their kid uh, needs the most uh, help and everything, and why, and then that's when you got to turn around and show that you understand their problem, and then based on your current clientele, what you've done to help them, that you are the solution. But you can't ever do that if you don't have a system and structure of all those questions going into play. Okay, if you just try to open up with. Uh, what position, what was your kid's name? Um, it's not going to go anywhere, and parents can see that, okay? They're going to wonder if you're just a midnight coach who is trying to make a buck, okay? You want to show them that you're an exact business. Uh, it'd be the same kind of system they go in if they uh, went to a new dentist or a new family physician, if they went to a new CPA. You need to set yourself up on these calls with prospects and be as professional as possible in how you conduct uh, those interviews, okay? Conduct those interviews, you're not just, they're not just interviewing you, you're also showing that you're interviewing them because you run things a certain way and you're going to uh, carry it a certain way uh, that is very impactful on their kids' uh, results, right? Their transformations over time. And when you do this, this also brings up another point you need to be recording yourself and taking notes. So that way, whether or not you succeeded in that sale, you can look back and study just like game film, right? Uh, just like film in the weight room over somebody's squat or power clean technique or their sprint. You can look over uh, what you did great, what you didn't do as great, what you did poorly, and you can make adjustments. But just like anything else, you don't know what to make adjustments with and how much if you uh, don't have any kind of evaluation process on yourself, okay? You don't have any structured system. And if it's just totally random, then you're going to be stabbing at the dark and hoping that you hit something, okay? And we don't want that. You want to be as structured as possible. Uh, this will also build your confidence that you have a plan of action going into these calls because it can be very intimidating, but I'm going to tell you from experience and hundreds of other coaches' experience that we work with, when you know exactly what questions you're going to ask them to get information and then how to get them to talk and open up but also capitalize on their pain points, then you're going to realize that you're not just going to be able to sell $200 for a month. You can talk them into $500. You can, next thing you know, you can talk them into three months, six months, or 12 months up front. Okay? And all you have to do after that is like, hey, I'm sending the link right now and they're ready to pay. That is one of the most biggest confidence boosters. And I tell my wife this all the time that I've gotten better over the last several years at not just training more people and getting people to sign up with me that I have no idea who they are. They, they're not coming from referrals, but I'm able to talk them into and agree to money on the phone. And she still can't believe it because that's not something she does. But the fact that I can get somebody who... Uh, will agree and they'll fill the link right away after the phone call 
to pay $600 up front, $750 up front for three months, $1,000 for uh, half a year, $2,000 for a full year. It's unbelie uh, unbelievable what that does for your business, okay? And you, you're you even happier when you get out of that call. Uh, you're ready to tackle more of those, not because you're money hungry, but because you know that you can be successful at a financially healthy business. You can pay bills. You can have a good balanced life. But you're going to get more kids to sign up and help them. And that's ultimately your goal, right? You can't help more kids if you don't sell them. You could be dirt cheap and free. If you can't talk people into why they should train with you, now you're just a free, broke trainer. Okay? And we don't want that. We want a very financially healthy and prosperous trainer who helps athletes. Okay? Everybody's at a win-win. But you have to go in the phone call with a plan on what to ask, how to conduct uh, the surveying that goes on, like I said, getting them to uh, reveal more information uh, based off a couple little questions. And then also, um, you know, just really knowing how to capitalize on that pain point and being as professional like a CPA so that when you send them that link, they're ready to pay. You're the person and everybody is going to be so glad they talked, uh, they talked to you. And that's when the referrals will come in because now your training will reflect that, right? Your training is already very professional. You hold yourself to a five-star standard. Now your interviewing does that and there's no way that almost, we always say go for one out of four people. Eventually you do great at this. You're going to have seven to nine out of 10 people signing up for your program, which is even more money. You can have a little bit bigger classes uh, per hour. You make more money. You can take off the weekends if you want or only do every other day, okay? So things really start at the phone call and how you uh, conduct the conversation with parents and then how you, they call it controlling the frame and get them to go uh, through what they want their kid to transform into and then you add in all your solutions based on uh, not just knowledge but on experience, okay? If you find these helpful, you want to subscribe to our page, Make Money Coaching Sports. And then you also want to text us, uh, for me, example, 210-414-3077. We can talk to you a lot more about your current business, uh, give you a few actionable steps. And then if you want to sign up for our program, we can talk about that as well. All right.